Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. It is Wednesday, September 26, 2018. That means I have brand new comic books here to share with you. These are my pickups from local comic book shops for this week, the week of September 26, 2018. And I'll just go ahead and break into the books. A uh, quick disclaimer, I got some feedback on my last video that I should try to show them by publisher so I'm gonna try that this time and see how that works out because for some odd reason that might not work out I don't, I don't know either way starting us off from Marvel Comics we have Iron Hammer number one this is part of the Infinity Warps from the Infinity Wars storyline that's going on right now pretty awesome we got the uh, obviously Thor Iron Man mashup ordeal going on here. I like this a lot. I was going to get the design variant, but I didn't feel like paying the extra price for it, so I just got this one. That's pretty cool. Stoked about that one. Also from Marvel, we have Edge of Spider-Geddon, number four here. Got the variant cover on this one. I got Venom First Host, number five here. The last in this uh, story are the last in this mini, sorry, this mini series here. Moving on to Old Man Logan, we have number 48 here with this really different looking cover for Old Man Logan, so that's kind of cool. I picked up number 24 of Ben Riley the Scarlet Spider. And of course I got number six of Amazing Spider-Man. This is the Date Night Issue. Looks like there's some fun shenanigans going on there. As, as I do every month, I got my Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This is number 35. 35 here. You know what? I really like these covers a lot. Or I liked these covers a lot. But now I'm getting kind of sick of them. I want them to just do straight up illustrated covers not mixed with like real world photos I don't know why I'm just kinda I thought it was cool at first and now I'm kind of over it not that I'm over the book just those covers Moon Knight number 199 one away from 200 this is a really cool cover I like it a lot it's a little like cartoony or something for Moon Knight uh, the last few have been but still looks really cool. I also picked up the True Believers uh, first appearance of Hellcat there, which I guess, what is that supposed to be? Avengers 194? It doesn't say. Avengers something. 194, I thought? I don't know. So moving on to DC Comics. Got Justice League Dark, number three here. First cover appearance of Mr. Upside Down Man guy. Uh... That's pretty cool. That character's pretty awesome. Pretty out there. I like that. Also got the new book written by Tom King this week. This is Heroes in Crisis number one. Got the regular cover on that one. Also got the regular cover on Justice League Odyssey number one. I don't know anything about this book. Not a big Justice League anything fan, so we'll see. Other than Justice League Dark, I guess that was a contradiction. I do like that book. So this was pretty cool, and this is part two of the six-part Batman, Kings of Fear, Scarecrow stuff there. It's really cool, fun story. I like this a lot. And we got the variant cover on Flash number 55 here. Really awesome looking variant. And one of my favorite DC books is Wonder Woman number 55. The variant cover on that one. Really cool with the flaming swords there. Of course, the cover of the week every time it comes out is the Joshua Middleton Batgirl. This is number 27. That is a beautiful cover just in time for Halloween before Halloween. I don't know. Either way, I like that one a lot. That is a really great cover. Moving on to Boom Studios, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 31 here, Beyond the Grid. 
beyond the shattered grid. Also continuing with Bone Parish, this is issue number three. I really love this series. This is a great series so far. From Dark Horse Comics, got Beast of Burden, number two. There's a subtitle on this. Oh, Wise Dogs and Eldritch Men. I don't even know how you say that. This is a really cool, wacky series. And new from Dark Horse this week, we get the comic book adaptation of the popular Netflix show Stranger Things. Um, you know, I, like many people, really liked the first season of Stranger Things, and then it kind of completely fell off in the second for me. I'm hoping this will kind of fill some of that void that the second one left behind. Um, hopefully it doesn't introduce too much stuff and just kind of focuses on what's already there. I think that was the problem with the second season. And hopefully not the problem with the third season. But I am stoked to read that. I'm, I'm excited to see how that one goes. Uh, moving on to Image. This is one of, one of my favorite Image books. I think Skyward right now is, but Redneck. Donny Cates here. This is number 15. This is a really cool series. Redneck Vampire. It doesn't get any more fun than that. From IDW, we get Star Trek vs. Transformers. And moving on to Vault Comics, we get Fearscape, number one. Talked about this in my picks for the week, uh, earlier this week. It's got an interesting concept. Then we get Ahoy Comics with sorry, with High Heaven number one. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure what that is. It's a Grant Morrison thing, so probably be a little over my head. Um, and that's it. Uh, those are all the brand new books I picked up. I got this fun Marvel Monsters from the files of Ulysses Bloodstone, right? And the Monster Hunters. So I really like goofy stuff like that, especially anything with Bloodstone and then anything with these Marvel monsters on it. So grab that too. Those are my books for the week. That's what I picked up from shops. Uh, I do have a big order coming in from Midtown and some variants from Unknown. So if you didn't see a couple of you know popular books this week, they're on the way. That's where they are, especially my uh, Spider Geddon Zero, which luckily I ordered because my shop had none on the table. So, that's what I picked up. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up. Let me know what you're excited about. Let me know if you guys read anything already, what you read that was awesome. If you read this Stranger Things book, please let me know uh, what you thought about it. I think I'm going to read that one first and post a review on it. Maybe I'll try to get it up tonight or tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please leave a thumbs up if you can. Please subscribe and leave some kind of comment saying something awesome. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.